you think it'll be a time where like because now if your business isn't on the internet is it even a business you think there'll be a time if your business isn't utilizing blockchain in some way is it even i think some way probably just like how everybody probably utilizes i don't know some of these big software companies yeah uh like azure and stuff like cloud servers or, or some microsoft services or uh that one another big company that uses like uh b2b software um i think eventually probably but some people really might not need the use of it or want it to track things or to or you think most people will be like yo i don't trust it unless it's on it unless it's on the blockchain be like, uh, i just bought this plane ticket oh did you check if it was on the blockchain if it's not it's fake possibly like we is there an analog to that now really uh, even, even, the, even the dollar case for bitcoin and blockchain like people aren't being like a common person being like oh geez, is this dollar real this paper dollar real you don't think so i mean like people not, like, not everybody person. does that but like I've, be you, before blockchain popularized i didn't care or no you've never been to a place and they check your dollar they like hold it up at the uh, light sure 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 um yeah yeah i'm trying to think of the same thing for like a credit card but like most people just take a credit card and don't even think about it yeah fraud stuff um yeah it's just it's still a little kind of niche it's a little not super pervasive like if you i don't know a good one like so like you buy a ticket from somebody like a scalper yeah. or something and you're like yo i gotta see the blockchain on this one buddy the ticket's the classic it, it's, but peer-to-peer -peer stuff definitely yeah companies i'm not sure peer-to-peer -peer, definitely could be uh it could be like you? most certification they authorize that's you um, colleges other than that like your probably ID, in the future, you get future. pulled over in the future future probably it'll be pervasive as a technology maybe a good question is what won't be on the blockchain that's digital better question better question i mean there's there's my thing because but i know there's networks that do privacy things but some people don't want traces maybe they want verification but they don't want a trace of it i don't i don't want you to look up on etherscan if i'm putting two million into doge it'll probably be a thing where like you don't tell anyone your social security number to like maintain your privacy because if someone takes that they can steal your identity digital identity so like this that, is that, that's probably the, the overarching thing. theme digital you just identity teach kids yo don't tell anybody your your address don't tell anybody your private key yeah you know sure track things digital identity on things man remember I, did i bring up internet computer on here i don't i don't know Internet computers, a blockchain that Mike Novogratz had some money into, so I thought it was cool. There is a, they have like no apps built on it, and the first NFT they built on it was called uh, Clown Punks or IC Punks, Internet Clown Punks, something like that. Uh, floor took off, and I was going to hop into it. I didn't do it, just because, you know, I'm still not, I don't want it hop into every nft um but this one i mean it's pretty it was the first nft on the blockchain that it's kind of backed by a lot of things and then they made frogs and the frogs floor going up and uh you know if there's one thing i should have clowned myself into is probably icp stuff but that was that was interesting because one of their things is identity digitally that digital uh, identity yes. Yeah, it's crazy. Neighbor Jeff has no digital identity. And that Twitter? Nothing. How does he spend his time? I'm not saying that you spend your time on digital, but like, how, what does he do daily? He watches YouTube videos. I don't even know if he has a YouTube account. <laughs> I don't even know if he has an email. <laughs> is he still? Is he employed? Employing himself? he's in he's studying to go to law school i don't know if he has a job like i don't i really just don't don't know just getting that that uh 
girlfriend doctor money, right? This is his girlfriend. And he's like, yeah, dude. I'm like, he always wants to invest in stuff. But I'm like, bro, like you, you just like you, you're just not on the internet. You don't know what's popping, dude. Like, yeah, you know, you don't know the value <laughs> of uh, having like you're missing out on so much money. You could have a YouTube channel talking about your little fucking whatever you like oh, to do. Dude. People you gravitate. Could kill it gravitate towards his personality both negative and positive which is exactly what you need See, oh yeah. my goodness dude. but he wouldn't he won't do it unless i help he won't him. pod bro thing. you want to nah. have a pod with him he won't do it unless i unless i help him in some way you know and then i'm just gonna be doing all the work be, be the the invisible hand of, of helping and you don't do the work i got a team podcast with jeff i don't know if i have it in me I, like i said baby oh God. you can do a podcast not, with him, huh? not me not me it, uh, he also doesn't have the same connection with me as he does with you but i'm saying that maybe just like not do it with him but somehow have your invisible hand of i'm helping you neighbor jeff i'm kind of like i like, like i said it. like i said before the, the thing that you have to really like grab people by the collar and lift them up sometimes you just gotta let you gotta let their weight be their weight i i, I don't have any energy for that anymore like yeah. sometimes like the most i'll do is i'll suggest i'll suggest like hey maybe make a tiktok about this or whatever since you're, you're complaining about hating your job don't tell me tell the internet oh yeah I mean, well that, i don't wanna and then i just say okay have you prospected to neighbor jeff for for uh getting money from him from something at all yet he's the guy i was talking about the guy with the money that's trying to do what he's like dude if you ever ever have an idea bro like i'm trying I'm willing to partner up well then i'm just like yeah dude but here's the thing like here's how it would go <laughs> you can give me money for like this thing right and then for almost the entirety of the project he'll have no involvement in it besides yeah. asking me how it's going so yeah. then i'll just have a parent over me did you do your homework yet did you do your homework yet did you do your that's homework funding, yet? that's funding that's no fun <laughs> that's 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 what it is though that's what if you don't, if not you don't really sell because fun. a lot of like wealthy investors literally give you money say okay i'll check up on you in a year because the they're tops they're fucking the, doing so much other stuff so build a brand of trust first of all and second have your clients so trustworthy of you and high enough net worth usually where the high the higher someone pays you you usually see that flack with the lower pay grade if, if you pay 200 bucks for a course or a service and someone's like yo dude what's going on here someone pays five thousand ten thousand dollars for it they they get their they get their act together and, and do nothing out out of the ordinary and yeah it's... I, I do think it also comes back to your trustworthiness and ability to, to return yeah and that's another thing too like that's like another pressure i don't want yeah you know right now like not no i not from him yeah, yeah. not from somebody like i know because like a like a yeah, real yeah. investor is like like failure is like part of the thing but he's gonna be like yeah, yeah. why did it fail where's my money bro you owe me all this i'm like no i don't owe you shit bro it was an investment yeah yeah, yeah. and yeah, you know that could like fuck up a friendship and i'm not trying to get go through all that yeah y yeah you gotta have very explicit things and, and solid personalities with it especially if and i would probably be working on something that he doesn't like fully yeah. understand he doesn't see the end result of you know oh well it's just like just like pure trust and then that's bad so what, does he i don't know does he not think about the future he does he's like he's super he's into like investing and stuff and like he does a lot of research but that's just it he just he does the, he just does research like he doesn't try that's anything also himself. that's also a thing well, i mean what does he research he doesn't like so he'll like read something on like nfts and like research it oh, okay. and then he'll call me and ask me questions and i'll ask like his girlfriend's brother because he like knows a lot about it too traditional yeah. stuff or no or just crypto stuff yeah everything real estate stocks crypto law huh. a lot of a lot of Jeff. news whenever like political stuff is happening he'll call me ask me what i think about it lol you know, it's like, just, dude, just, fucking, just like 
Fucking you should, just you should show them that turn the, on voice memos, get an anchor account, and talk about politics and call it a day. Show them the young boy with the the suit, the white kid that does finance the YouTube stuff. Oh, Zip Trader. Show, show him that guy. He probably then, watches him. And then just say, "Be here." I, I bet you he watches this guy. <laughs> yeah, cause, but I remember he was he was I, I forget what year at college, but he was using Weeble. And that was like the first time, like I heard, I heard him say it one time and I didn't know what it was until later. Oh yeah, he did use Weeble. Yeah. But I mean, you gotta do action along side with research. Asking the right questions and then taking the right actions from those questions. Dude, I fucking totally, okay. I, I totally fucked up my Saturday. What'd you do? So we're going on two hours, so maybe this this will be a wrap up story. Please, yeah, it's in my head. Um, so I don't oh, so know. You, you know my good friend, our good friend Zach, the photographer, right? Oh, what a character! What a character! So he's been getting. He's not very good at closing deals, right? He oh. he's been getting fucked in terms of mm. in the photography department. He'll do a job and then not get paid, and then just Come complain on. about it because he doesn't know how to create a contract or draft an invoice. Sure. So I'm like, okay, bro, like maybe I can help you. Like, I'll find you some clientele. I'll draft up the contract or the invoice. You do the work and I'll take a cut. Like, yeah. easy as fuck, right? Yeah. Anyway, I find, him a, I find him a client for today. It's a birthday party, children's birthday party. And that's kind of my fault. But I was like, I was like, oh, um, because he's been really like eager for a job. So before I even like, he even like confirmed I said, yeah, he, he can he can do it. He's good. Like he's not gonna be doing anything on a Saturday besides smoking weed. Right? So anyway, <laughs> I confirm that and then I and Zach hits me up, he's like, Oh, I can't do it. I'm just like, fuck, now I gotta do this shit. So I gotta go fucking take pictures at this birthday party. And then apparently I agreed to go to like fucking Miles' mom's birthday party too or some shit. I'm I'm not gonna go because this <laughs> this children's party takes up my whole Saturday, damn near. Yo, if the, that is a solid episode, if I've ever heard one, dude. Like a whole Saturday just gone. I think I think anytime someone injects themselves into a Zach's timeline, you you inject yourself into some kind of reality show. <laughs> yeah, and I like want to cancel so bad, but I'm like, dude, it's a fucking it's a two year old's party. He's not gonna have any are you, pictures. Are you using a camera at least? I was just, I literally told the guy like, yo, my photographer can't come. I have this oh, Sony no. mirrorless and I have an iPhone 13. And he's like, that's you, fine. You should, you, should, you should just hopped in. Has he seen you before? Yeah, I know. Oh, dang. But, yeah. I would have just been like, yo, I'm the guy. <laughs> and they would have been like, yo, you kind of sound like uh, the guy I was talking to before. Like, no. Yeah, I but the I whole know, thing, I was like, yo, this is easy money. I'll take fucking 50% of Zach's money and I don't have to do shit. But now I actually have to go. Yeah, no, dude, I fucking, because I was like, dude, if I'm going to help you, I'm going to take a huge chunk. Like, I'm going to make you a website. Like, I'm going to make it look great. Like, I'm going to get oh, you some real clientele. And he was like, dude, I don't care. Like, that's fine. I just want to work. I was like, cool. Good old Zach. Yeah, so. I fucked up his first client. That's cool. That's, that's chill. not good. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, lesson learned. You take the emotional pain and then see what happens. I'll just take all the money. It's fine. Thanks for listening. RickerandBond.com. Rick and Bond on Instagram. Go buy yourself a, a Team Ricker hat on WS.live slash store if you know it's good for you and you want a, just a solid life ahead of you. Uh, and don't forget to brush your teeth three times a day. Don't forget to floss. Three? Yeah. I have to floss more. Don't I, forget my, to, my you know, if you're, if you're, if you're, I started using wipes when I wipe my ass. Like, it's a whole nother world. If you're not doing that, you're just roughing it. So, consider that like just like use the toilet paper first then clean up with the with like one or two wipes it's really that's what they treat. say on the on the uh what was that sponsor that always went around youtube videos tishy, tishy no wipes? It, was, it was like a it was like a men's uh, health brand hymns something but they had they had butt wipes remember source fed source fed had them. Source thanks for fed, listening dude. everybody the girl thanks on there had listening. a backwards heart do they fired her from her like the the other channel?